Hello everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing an overview of Around the World with Picture Books Part 1 from Beautiful Feet Books, the Ghana unit, which is the final unit in this curriculum. So let's get going. So this is the curriculum that we'll be discussing today and it's the final unit um, in Africa the Ghana unit. Lesson number one starts off with the the maps lesson. So you take your maps book and you look for Ghana and you find all types of interesting things that you can find in Ghana. There's animals and there's cities and it has the flag and traditional dress of the people. And you look at that and you find the flag and you can create the flag. They have a printout in this curriculum and that is lesson one and again the maps book I'm referring to is this chunker right here this maps book in the curriculum they recommend you to have the the blue version of this but this gold goldest orangey yellowish one it actually has more countries so I highly recommend that you get this one if you are looking to use this curriculum highly recommend this one now, lesson number two is the literature book that comes with this curriculum if you buy directly from Beautiful Feet Books. But I, as I've said in previous videos, I only actually buy the teacher's manual and that saves me a lot of money. And then I just pick up all my other books from the library. If you happen to have a, a good library system, highly recommend that tip. For lesson number two is A Manual's Dream. And this is a story about a boy who was born with a disability um, regarding his leg and how his mother instilled in him that he can persevere and learn through any obstacle that that is in his way and that even though he has a disability, he can still problem solve and overcome. And this is a true story. This, this boy, he, he became, you know, grown man, supported his family, and then he, throughout his country, rode around on a bicycle to help raise awareness of, of disabilities and really brought out um, the culture of that even though you have, might have a disability, you can still overcome, you can still do great things in life. So this was a great book. I also love his name, God is With Us, so we got to discuss that as well. And uh, the literature guide with lesson two, it has some great questions to, to ask your child before reading the book and after reading the book. So good reading comprehension questions. So lesson number three from the Ghana unit is about Ghanan art. And we were not able to pick this book up from the library, they didn't have it, but we were able to watch a video on YouTube about how kente cloth is made and then we did our little own weaving project with some paper. So here is how one of my boys little kente cloth weaving project turned out. Bold bright colors are what kente cloth is known for and the beautiful weaving technique. The next part of this curriculum is the library connection portion and there were six books that were specifically for Ghana. Now, for, from the Ghana book selection, I was able to pick up from the library four of them. And this is one hen. This is a story about, again, a true story about a, a boy who was given at a communal loan. So the village he grew up in, they would have a loan and then each family would get to have the loan um, to do a project, um, to do something entrepreneurial. And then once they, once they made that loan up, then it would go back to another member of the tribe. And, and again, they got to do something with that money entrepreneurially. And then once they paid it back, then it would go to another family. So everyone in the village got a little portion of the loan money and what became just one little loan and one little hen turned out to be um, a very profitable and very successful, prosperous 
job opportunity for this man and for many other people in his community. So this is a great book. And I got to talk to my kids about money and loans and that was a great finance talk we had with my boys. Now these three, I was actually not able to get to read with my boys um, the Ghanan Goldilocks. This is a, a modern retelling from a boy in Ghana about gold, the Goldilocks story. So I'm assuming that something happens where he goes to a neighbor's house that he shouldn't be going to and he I think he learns some lessons along the way. Now, a story, a story, I chose not to read with my boys. This is about um, the Spider-Man, and it's a folk tale from Ghana culture, um, but it talked a lot about like the, cre I think the creation of the world and how things came to be and like gods. So I just chose to skip this one because, yeah, I just chose to pass. Like we talk about, uh, we're Christians, we talk about the Trinity and I think it would have just been a little confusing for their little minds at this age so we didn't have enough time to get to this one and we just we just passed on it for those reasons and this is the last recommendation from the Ghana library connection books Ashanti to Zulu and this is from A to Z it has a story for each letter of the alphabet and again we ran out of time for this book this looked like it had a lot of very good information about um, words that are from a, a native African languages. So I wish we had time for this one, but we had to pass on it. Lesson number four is the nature connection. And this is where they have native animals from Ghana and that you get to do little coloring activities. And then for me, we always watch a video to start with and read the description. So the four animals were the hippopotamus, the Colobus monkey, the African lion, and the black crowed crane. And my boys love this. They get to watch the videos, do the drawings. It's a, it's a favorite in our house. And lesson five was learning about the baobab tree. And I might be mispronouncing that, apologies. So for this, we read the we read the lesson and then we got to watch a video and then do the coloring page. And the baobab tree, it's so interesting how it it's a source for both humans and animals, water, shelter, uh, clothing, food, nutrition. This tree is truly, truly a life source um, in Africa. And it was so interesting to teach the boys about it and just the structure of the tree, it's gorgeous. So there was the video and the coloring activity and we just got to learn some good information about it. And lesson number six is the, the cuisine. Now my boys, I took this to be a great opportunity to teach them how to brown chicken on the stove. So I did that part, um, but for safety reasons, but then they got to add all of the ingredients to the, the chicken dish. So we made a traditional Ghanan chicken dish, and then we just had rice on the side with it, but it was so fun them getting to put all the ingredients in the pan and me showing them how to brown chicken properly super fun activity. We did skip making the fufu recipe. We just didn't have the ingredients for that recipe. And at the back of this curriculum, they had additional books on Africa. So we got some of those books and some of them turned out to be our favorites. So what we picked up from the library, these were the three we were able to read. Rain School, this was our absolute favorite. Uh, a boy goes to school and he has to basically make his own school with his other the other children in his school and that's his very first lesson and learning how in some countries schools you know might not look like the schools that we have here in America so that was really really fun book and my boys asked to read this like five times they loved it and this book is set in the country of Chad Next is why mosquitoes buzz in people's ears. And this is a folk tale about why mosquitoes buzz in people's ears. And it's one of those books where this happens to this animal, then this happens to the next animal and so on and so forth. And everything's blamed on the mosquito. And that's why mosquitoes buzz in people's ears. 
as their consequence. And this one was actually one of the Ghana Library Connection books. Just, I put it in the wrong pile. And this book, The Water Princess, is set in Burkina Faso. And this is the, the story of a girl and her mom having to wake up every morning, walk miles and miles to go fill up their jars with water and then go all the way back to their homes to then boil the water and then finally get that first sip of life giving renewal water. So this was a really good lesson for my boys that, you know, in some places of the world, people still don't have taps that they can just turn on. Some people have to go very far and it actually sparked some good conversation about wells um, that are dug in Africa. So my boys and I got to talk about that. And there was one more book that I we just ran out of time on reading and that is Beatrice's Goat. And this is the true story of how the gift of a goat changed one girl and her family's lives for the better. So um, I might be able to read it at some point, but yeah, we just ran out of time um, on our schedule. Unfortunately, in September, it was a very busy month. So that summarizes what you can find in the Ghana unit of Around the World of Picture Books, part one by Beautiful Feet Books. Um, overall, I thought this unit this Ghana unit was very well done. I've I've really, really enjoyed both units we've done this school year so far from this curriculum. The Ghana unit, which I just discussed, and then the one before that was the Kenya and Tanzania unit. Both of these were two of probably my favorite of all this curriculum. So really happy with the book recommendations. I think I think we got I mean it was a pile of books you saw. So both a good selection of books and good quality of books. So very happy with the recommendations that were given to us. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions for Beautiful Feet Books, Around the World with Picture Books, Part 1. We are starting Around the World with Picture Books, Part 2 in October. So stay tuned for our first country of France. I got the books from the library. It's a huge pile, huge pile. Um, so stay tuned for that walkthrough. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments for me. I'll be happy to answer them or just say, hi, how you doing? I'd love to, love to talk to you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a fantastic day.